Greta Gerwig's Barbie movie orchestrated a perfect moment by featuring Aqua's iconic Barbie Girl song. The film celebrated numerous triumphs, evident in Barbie's astounding $1 billion box office earnings, an impressive feat for a comedy, especially one outside the realm of established franchises. These achievements underscore the audience's appetite for original, well-crafted cinematic endeavors. While the Barbie brand provided a recognizable foundation, the film's true achievement lies in its adept creators. Margot Robbie and Ryan Gosling deliver exceptional performances in their lead roles, while Greta Gerwig's directorial finesse continues to shine, solidifying her status as one of Hollywood's most promising talents. The speculation surrounding the inclusion of Aqua's Barbie Girl song in the film kept pop culture enthusiasts intrigued until the announcement of a remix featuring Nicki Minaj and I Spice. The song's cultural significance necessitated its presence in a Barbie film, yet strategically placing it was crucial. The film's conclusion, following the final punchline, served as the ideal juncture for the song. This clever choice enabled Barbie to bid farewell on a high note, enabling the audience to revel in her triumph. Balancing musical interludes, heartfelt monologues, and playful humor, finding the right instance to integrate the song within the film was challenging. Integrating it mid-film might have overshadowed pivotal moments, appearing as a mere musical interjection. Leveraging the song's existing familiarity to enhance a scene could have compromised the movie's originality and authenticity. In a time marked by cameos and post-credits surprises, Barbie's self-contained narrative was a refreshing departure. Though the film featured its share of cameos and references, these weren't the central draw of the project. The Barbie movie soundtrack, a lively aspect of the experience, includes contributions from the cast themselves. Ryan Gosling's I'm Just Ken has already amassed over 30 million Spotify plays. However, excluding Aqua's Barbie Girl would have been a missed opportunity. Placing it at the film's conclusion was a clever choice, ensuring audience contentment and a fulfilling cinematic journey.